Welcome back to The Witcher. Bloodletting. Clearing the air. Hey, chat, so, your, your mic's upside down. You're talking backwards. Okay. <laughs> Alright, your, key, your keyboard's backwards. <laughs> what is... Talking upside down. <laughs> the joke Continue. just got worse. <laughs> the upside down backwards talking. Moving on. So, um, uh, you guys, uh, had, had, you, you won. You fucking right. killed this thing. You burned down the building. You, you, you survived, even if just barely. Don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Surreptitiously eyes the one HP. <laughs> sure. Rise in eight HP. <laughs> so, what do you guys do? I'm gonna do a checkup of Tal to see how he's doing. Notice he's doing poorly, and I'm <laughs> gonna spend a sorcery point to twin cast uh, cure wounds on second level. First one's gonna be for me, second one's gonna be for him. Oh, baby. You got what I need. Was second one for me. Yeah, second one's for you. You heal 12. I there still have one spell to left because it only takes one. Because I spent the sorcery point. You want to heal yourself there, Rick? I did. I meant more. <laughs> I, I mean, I need to do math here. I'm going to be at like 25 out of 27 now, so I'm oh, good. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. The fact that you have no I don't have a lot of HP, man. I'm squish. Oh god, that's that's so beneficial. Like, oh, one spell heals me. That's that's the plus side. <laughs> yeah, I just caught that little daddy bubble thing. An extra twelve daddies. Hey, hey. I'm gonna take a look at Bastion oh. and uh, <laughs> Louis. And how are they doing? Like, how beat up are they? Um, they are doing f uh, so. So, Tal's still messed up. Bastion's a little hurt. But, you know, he heals pretty quickly overall. I can um, hear again. He's, like, half injured. Uh, Luis okay. is more injured than he's been in a long time. But he's fine. How bad is he looking? I mean, he's, he's just not good fuck, so... Hey! Yeah, he, he's, he's okay. I'm very uh, intrigued. I'll, I'll, I'll whisk Bastion over, I'll get out the healer oh, skin, and I'll start, like, removing the splinters in your leg. Roll me that medical check. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Good job. Presuming from Rick's reaction, that was a nay. I was better net at medicine. Psychic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, if Bastion's there, like as you're like picking out of his leg with tweezers, these huge <laughs> wooden splinters. He's like, I'm better than you at this. <laughs> 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 Walking him through it. <laughs> I use a fire bolt to like heat up the pins. It's like okay, <laughs> as I pull them. <laughs> That's funny. Once you're done, I'll put a hand on you and Tal together, and I'll cast my last spell for the day. I'll twin cast it yet again. So, one for Bastion, one for Tal. Another cure wound to second level. Ooh, twenty. Oh no. All oh, slots expended. Do we both get the nine? Uh, no, you get, get the nine. nine. One get one get seventh. Oh, okay. I get the nine. Mm -hmm. No, you. Okay. I, you I get don't the know. Seven. It's... Tal gets the nine. Okay. Okay. I, I specified it before the roll. Okay. Just so we don't argue. Like, oh, I got the better heal. I was actually trying to give the the better one. That I'm so nice, aren't I? I don't Best care either way. So, wow. what do you guys? Do you guys? Wow. Head, do you guys head back to the? Uh, to regular uh, Vizima or to one of the nearby um, towns? No, Scott. Uh, That's my sweet dear Scott. There's still <laughs> a, a horrific monster's corpse and some little heirloom in there that's summoning in will o wisps. Okay. And now we have more time to actually remove the rubble rather than just me lifting a thing and holding it up. Should, so we, I imagine... should we have maybe like a set up a camp here branch is lying on his back flat look <laughs> looking at the sky like i am done louise would you mind setting up camp while i start removing some of the rubble with tell 
uh, uh, camp? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 sir. He'll start setting up camp. What a good kid. <laughs> what a nice young boy. You know, uh, he was he was crying when that monster was leering over him. Maybe we shouldn't put him into any more combat. It, it doesn't seem up, up to it. You know, he, he's, the bow's probably just there for hunting. Probably rabbits, you know. Yes, we'll have to keep an eye on him while we're out here. <laughs> so, <laughs> while, uh, while you're... So, a couple hours pass. You guys searching for the rubble, trying to find what's beneath. Um, when you go searching that region where you definitely were trapped before, you can easily like, find that again as you're like peeling back each chunk bit by bit. Stuff shifting, so and so forth. It's not, it's not, it's not safe. It's not easy work. It's not safe to work. But you can easily find that area again. There is no creature left behind. <sighs> Scott, <laughs> I fell on Smeagol there. I was like. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> is there Our anything? Precious. What was that? Is there like anything? like? Goop? There's the beam There's... that was covered in its blackened blood. It's like purplish black blood that, you know, was uh, what Tao was pressing against with his back down any, here. Any sign that it might have removed itself from the beam somehow? Uh, no, no signs of that whatsoever. So we know it could turn to fog, right? Anyone see any bits of fog around here? <laughs> Did you start looking around. For... Uh, I saw a wisp. Right. So uh, if it is alive, we take some of its blood. Yeah. Uh, Bran, you could do some horrific dark magic ritual, right, and draw it back because we've got its blood. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, you spoke I, with I make my way to stand up. It's like I maybe. Right, let's uh, let's take some to be sure. You've got one of your ampules, haven't you, uh, Bast? What? <laughs> one of your vials. Oh yeah, yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Papa vial. So if, if we collect some of the blood off, yep. Like using the blade of a dagger. To... Same one you were using to tap it earlier. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you get some of the uh, the blood into the, the vial. Not a problem. We did it. And the, was this on... Would this be at, like, the ground level? Or would this be the basement? Um, so, kind of both. So, when everything came collapsing down, was he all the way down to the actual rock itself where he was trapped? No. But he mm-hmm. also wasn't... If you're looking, like, actually measuring feet up, wasn't ex- like exactly where he was before. He got kind of knocked through the floor somewhat, but was still elevated off of the ground a bit. So, the basement itself probably still has areas that could be explored if, if, if like you guys can get to them. But you know. do you think it's worth checking the basement? After seeing something like this, he points to like. <laughs> Empty space. Yeah. Fair point. I cast detect magic <laughs> at will because I can now. Mm-hmm. Well, Do I see anything magical immediately? I mean, the the uh, just the typical things. N- nothing, nothing any different from what was described prior. I still feel that place of power, like humming in the background somewhere. Somewhere far off, somewhere, somewhere like in this region, but you don't know where it is. Okay. I just look at them and go, "There's nothing magical nearby." I think it's safe to take a look. Right. Uh, let's have something to eat first. Uh, maybe a maybe a little drink. Lot back on the ground. You want to drink this vial? He gives you a look. <laughs> He's drank then... enough blood recently. <laughs> it made you stronger last time. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh, it's, it's just uh, a, a, a joke about when, uh, yeah, is you it? know. Is it? 
Yeah, well, you see, I got I got stabbed and uh, like towels start scratching the back of his head. I got stabbed and uh, my lung was punctured, so I was coughing up blood and I was drinking the blood. <laughs> you know, not on uh, purpose. You should see the stuff we can make him drink. He's not the brightest tool in the shed. <laughs> well, Is he? Uh, I uh, I think, given present company, uh, I'm a fairly sharp tool. Yeah, um, I'm certainly not as dull as as some some tools. You know, like Bastion over there. He's probably a, a hoe. No, he's got the hose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand the use of that language. You know, the hoe is a farming implement. It's a regional dialect you wouldn't understand. Probably not, but, uh, you know, I don't know words from your region like massacre, village. <laughs> and he goes off and sits down on a lock. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, Louise. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's enjoy our meal. Just like heated up rations. <laughs> uh, mm, this is my favorite. <laughs> we could probably make a stew from the rations. That sounds even worse. Like, I want to just get it down. I don't want to like. No, no, a small amount of meat is vastly improved by the flavorful swamp water that you add. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Moving on. Tell us how you make the most of your little meat. <laughs> okay, so. Wow. <laughs> <We>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys keep pushing to the basement tonight or do you wait until uh like rest overnight wait until morning i want to fucking sleep i uh imagine i probably work at it for the most part until <laughs> i i make enough headway tal is welcome to join i imagine we're gonna let bren rest the whole time and louise can do whatever he wants to do Okay. Elise would also like to rest. <laughs> Used a lot of spells. Fair enough. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> I was gonna tell we'll take like short rests periodically over this period. Or oh, actually, if we don't, how, are we taking a long rest here? Because if I don't sleep overnight, I will suffer the benefit. Uh, you know what we could do? Uh, I need a long rest I'll, for my spells. You'll rest first, and then when you're done resting, I rest. So, uh, Scott, say we have like four hours of sleep each. Um, would shoveling be considered like a menial task that we could complete while long rest? Probably not. I mean, no, you're no. gonna have you definitely yeah, have to long rest. I agree. Yeah, definitely gonna have to long rest. Uh, so I, I assume everybody's just gonna long rest unless somebody doesn't want yeah, to. Yeah, Tal's gonna excuse. You know, he's, yeah, he's gonna like cough and it's like a horrible wheezy cough he's like <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he uh he's like it's oh, yeah, i need uh i need some sleep i'm afraid mate Brand's already asleep at this point <laughs> fair enough we can handle it in uh another time yeah and we'll long rest we'll do okay. it. so you do exactly that you do your long rest and and uh everybody's able to spend their um their hit die that wishes to do so i keep forgetting how many do i get back to uh, you get back two overnight yeah oh, damn, here we go there we go finally Streamlabs, i think is finally fully back online okay cool now that we don't really need it for the fight anymore yeah i know uh, thanks stream labs perfect timing That was the most obnoxious thing. Says, says Scott. Oh, Jesus. Hey, nice That's crit there. fail on your hit die, idiot. <laughs> nice crit fail on your constitution save to not cry, idiot. It's <laughs> <laughs> a real we'll play it's moment. A real save. Oh. Oh, baby. It wasn't real. Right. Oh, it was real to me. Oh, someone at the door. Be right back. I tell you what, that's the first time Bran has ever drained like th all his spell slots, all his transportations, and all his sorcery points. Big old fight. This is a new level of exhaustion he's felt. Well, he's 
it's not quite the three levels of exhaustion that he had from, you know, being stoned for a while, but it's pretty fucking close. This is the first time I've used two whole uh, abilities in a fight. <laughs> two whole Witcher uh, signs, anyway. So, which uh, hit die did you use, Luis? You got to use your D8 and your D10s. Uh, I used my Ranger one. Oh, you just used one? And you rolled an 8, yeah. so that was good? Yeah, that was good. Cool, you can use one more to get that one extra health point back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Alright, cool. Um, so that gets us to uh, you guys in the morning, and then you guys start digging in to, 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 to try to get to, to where it is you're trying to get down there. Um, honestly, it's just going to be a simple... Because um, you guys are planning and plotting and da-da-da-da-da. Um, the strongest amongst you make me a strength check with advantage. The smartest amongst you make me an intelligence check with advantage. Just to see how well this goes. And you're going to ask a question, Rick? Would this have been a good time for that new, like, uh, class thing that I got at 6th level? Oh, what's your what strength, is. by the way? I don't remember. You were doing a, sure. a long rest and a sleepy... Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's, uh... Um... Roll, you have to roll me the, uh, the die first. Hey, hey, so... I have dreams! Mm. Whenever so. I sleep during a long rest, you have visions of other lands and other worlds. Roll a d20. On a 10 or higher, the visions grant you the benefit of a divination. Ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. Receive a truthful reply. It might be a phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. You go right ahead, sir. You ask your question. How do we stop the Foglet from coming back? Um... So you uh, you get the kind of like um, a, a whisper in your ear that says, "As the foglet lives, it dims the light around it. But as the foglet dies, it swells with light from within. You must dim the light of the fog, for it to never return again." Okay, could you repeat that one more time, please? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to write it all down. So I no, nope, it... check the vod. As the fog, <laughs> as as the foglet lives, it dims the light around it. Mm -hmm. When the foglet dies, it swells with light from within. You must, what did I say, uh, snuff out or or uh, vanquish the light of the fog to make it so the foglet can never return again. Mm -hmm. So along those mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. So kill the will o wisps, which are light. Done. Uh, Solved. Cool. It would be. That would be what it is. If only our ranger was. Whoa, whoa, uh... whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you also have a caster that said, eh. I don't need a I was running out of spells as it is. My range I'm, was I'm kidding. Iffy. A building was on top of Tal. He almost died. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I need my beefy right. boy with my blood in him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, we connect it now. If only somebody hadn't gone charging into a building that was clearly about to collapse. Pfft. We're blood brothers. <laughs> it's like if 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 uh, Scott had been like, okay, you tap on it, nothing happens. I'd have uh, I'd have instead gone the Luke and Leia route, and I'd have been like, Bran, Bran, <gasps> <laughs> called him by the Force, <laughs> and Scott would have been persuaded to be like, fuck it, give it a roll. <laughs> no. Not on that one. On a on a hundred on a one d hundred. No, no. You know, I would give you, you a roll. Use the force. On a nine 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 on a one d uh, hundred thousand. Wow, that's not a bad roll. So, <laughs> I, <laughs> I like those odds. <laughs> Messi's like, I can make that roll. <laughs> Pretty fucking. Uh, I started with a nine, right. got excited, <laughs> but fell apart from there. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. You never heard Except it. that was a 1D million. Oh, was it? Yeah, not a 1D 100,000. Uh, yeah. Cool. It's true. Oh. Just take that zero off the end, then. Well, no, that's not how it works, because it changes it, the odds. 
<laughs> you have to re-roll it with one less Never hero. tell me the odds. <laughs> All right. So anyways, you um, you guys uh, dig to the bottom. So did you make those strength checks? You did not. I need the strength with advantage from the strongest and the intelligence yeah. with advantage from the smartest. Tell. What's your strength? Tell's not strong. Tell is I got I got plus three athletics. I, I said strength. Yeah, what's your Athletics strength? is the appropriate one for this. I said strength. What's your strength? No, strength, though. Because I'm, I'm, I'm doing the group. What's your beef, boy? Just uh, what is it? Like a plus <coughs> one? No, Let's it's see. zero. Because of height. Oh, okay. I'm looking this boy up. Thank you. Is anyone good at intelligence? Because I have a three. Uh, you're the smartest. Me. I'm smarty pants. I got a plus one. I I'm glad that Neil's looking up the rules for how to represent four people's uh, efforts put together in one check. <laughs> Um, so, uh, you guys actually do a really good job uh, of plotting your, your dig down there the way everybody digs. You don't waste any time. Like, the actual structure of the dig going from the, 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 the top down is done very well. There's no collapses or anything like that. You don't dig straight through, obviously, the, the, the building itself. Like, there's so much rubble. It's too dangerous. You come down, um, uh, on the outside where the ground already is, like, a bit, um, has a bit more of, like, um, uh, a divot into it from probably like water running down or filtering into a spot so you dig down there as low as you can and then because of the fact that there's a constant stream of water that compromised the uh the stone beneath that supported the building anyways it didn't take much for you to hitting it with a shovel at first and then a shoulder to actually knock open a hole into the actual foundation of the building into the actual basement when you guys go in there what you end up finding is actually the foglets uh, like lair, like its nest, it's where it was living before. Oh my god! I cast detect magic. <laughs> you cast detect magic. You do not detect the presence of any magic. However, one of the things that you can tell is that this is not a new home. This is clearly a home that has been around for a long while. You know, it's like it's been it's been using this for an extended period of time as it's been down here. But more important than that, a crude drawing of a map of the area, very easily dis uh, uh, distinguished from, um, from Luis, is carved into one of the walls. Um, looked like it was scratched in probably by the thing's fingernail. And it seems to have like little markings and whatnot of places where it's been and, and, and places where it hasn't yet as, uh, as it's down here. Foglet did this? Fo Foglet's aren't unintelligent. Okay. Um, and so it's down there, and it's like it's scratched in these uh, these markings and whatnot down here. You also see there's a whole bunch of it's uh, a bunch of stuff that, that, it, that it that it had collected over time, or at least a bunch of junk that's thrown about on the floor. Um, do me a favor, roll me an investigation check because unfortunately the roof came in so, and, and everything else, so it's kind of hard to find stuff. Guys, I don't, I'm not the investigator I used to be. I have now three. Have, Anyone else who's, got who's rolling, bidding higher than three? It or is it just like a group roll? Is it, is it me or is it anyone? Every, everyone can roll normal check. Alright, everyone roll. Yeah, I love it. It's like the dwarves in that loot cave. In the troll's horde. Oh, yeah. Woof. Wanting his revenge, he starts searching for his sweet jewels so he can grasp them, grasp them tightly in his hand. Grisp. Grisp. Grasp them tightly in his hand. So, um, <clears throat> you, uh, you searching about, trying to find things of value, significance, so on and so forth. You're not the only good one here. Brad is, uh, is just as successful as you are. He's just smarter than you. Um, so, <laughs> as you are, are searching... Try to find stuff of significance. What the two of you find, uh, Bastion and, and Luis, uh, are bits of coin and stuff like that that are down there. Probably not intentionally put there. Probably just happened to be there too. I'll get to that in a second. The other two, however, what you end up discovering is that it seems to be collecting stuff over in this one particular region where one of you is just like, hey, you know, does that look like there's a, a spot over there? I don't know. Maybe it is. You think we can clear away? I could find a way. 
And like between like moving shit out of the way or like burning or breaking the wood, you're able to like get the area uh, opened up enough that one of the two of you, probably Bran, can like squeeze in there and look to see what's kind of been like trapped behind a bunch of rubble. And you see again, it's like a, a spot where clearly they have been collecting stuff. Um, as for what they're collecting, you don't know what it is. Neither of you are very familiar with it. So of course you like grab the stuff out and you pull it in front of everybody. Everybody's like, hey, look what we've all found. Um, <clears throat> uh, for coin, just for uh, simplicity, you guys found the equivalent of 111 gold. And uh, you can split it amongst yourselves. And uh, then you find the, the various items. Now these items don't strike you as being anything of significance, like a, like a tablet and like a, like a statuesque and like some herbs and stuff like that. But it's just like the way that they were positioned, which kind of like jumped out at you and made you think like, this could be something significant for a ritual or or some type of magics or something. And you don't really know if Foglets is being practitioners of magic beyond what's innate to them. But you present everything before each other and start looking it over. Uh, because of the fact that Griffins are good at this stuff, uh, could you please, Rick, roll me um, your Arcana with advantage? Like yes, Griffins. I will. Excuse me? You're a griffin. Yeah, well, Fucking I... natural 20 in your face. You, you, griffins are, are better studied in magic, so you give him advantage on the arcana check. Oh, I get to roll one too? No, no, no. You gave him advantage. Oh, okay. The other, like... two, the other two are ignorant fools, so they can't mm. give him anything. I'm helping. I am a fool and I know nothing. Yep. See? Libyan, be gone. So the two of you guys looking this stuff over and just kind of like, what is the significance of this? I don't know. Well, this one has a little bit of like energy, like resonating off of it, but like very, very fine amounts. And, you know, uh, just kind of like arranging the different items. You you both are pulling from old, uh, no, actually this is old knowledge of the Witcher being brought on from um, uh, just like the way that he's kind of bouncing ideas off of each other with um, with Bran. That you think that maybe these are, are, are significant items to the Foglet's past. Now, I know this sounds freaky, because what Foglet's are is, is uh, the necrophages. They're um, undead creatures. But they're undead creatures that inhabit corpses of other people. And and from what you can understand, they can potentially inhabit multiple corpses over time. After Foglet has experienced enough in different bodies, different life, so on and so forth, it can eventually undergo a ritual to, to create itself anew into a greater, more powerful, uh, 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 stronger ancient. type of foglet. Ancient foglet. And uh, oh, all I these different it. items that, that it has, it seems like these are all tidbits or, or artifacts or the like to all of the previous bodies that this foglet has inhabited over the years. And it seems like it seem, it's trying to get itself ready to to do that ritual for itself, to enhance itself. Oh shit, so it's not even an ancient foglet yet? No, this is a standard foglet. <laughs> Holy crap. Mm -hmm. How many of these does Geralt fight once? He is a monster. <laughs> well, he's a legend amongst legends, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, but it doesn't change the fact he's still a terrifying monster. He only fought, he only fought one ancient one once in the, in the video games, in the first game. And, uh, uh, he, he fights an ancient one in the third. Oh, does he fight an ancient one in the third game too? That's cool. Mm. Uh, I know he does in the first game. It like fucking whoops his ass. It's terrifying in the third one, but you do kill it, I believe. Yeah. Spoilers, sorry. Yeah. <gasps> Good man, I'm not sure if I've been counting that really, but I'm getting Hero to the end kills a monster? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but so anyways, uh, you find this sack of rituals. It's a sack of stuff it needs for its rituals. And you believe from your dream last night there, Ricky boy, that it's still out there. Oh yeah. Like, uh, combining that, the knowledge of the Wisp, and the fact that the monster has kept returning, yeah, it's still out there somewhere. So I turn to Bastion and I go, this might sound a bit weird, Bastion, but I've had a dream. It spoke to me as I focused on the Foglets and how to defeat it. <laughs> I was told by something that in order to kill the foglets, we have to 
extinguish the light of the foglet. So we have to find the wisp. It was another wisp that we handled them. Well, I look at Louis for a second. Like, <laughs> I don't think he was firing arrows into nothing. Hmm. Fair enough. I was a bit distracted. Uh, I suppose we could follow the direction it went and try to find it. That might be difficult. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but... <laughs> Would you mind showing us the way that it went? Yeah, uh, sure. We should probably yeah. take this stuff with us as well, or destroy well, I don't suppose I can, like, use my spell weaving to cast locate plants or animals. Well, um... Hold on one second. Roll me an intelligence check, or, or, or the smartest one intelligence, the wisest one wisdom check. He's got good wisdom. I've got I am plus three. What are you? I'm okay, I'm plus two. I'm plus three. Just flat wisdom. Everybody can roll then. Everybody can roll. Oh, fucking your, go for your it. Your choice, intelligence or wisdom. Woo! Oh. Let's go, buck wild people. <laughs> Everyone else rolls wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know that you could chase it down, maybe weaving through magics, maybe all that stuff. But you also know that it's going to return. Why would it return? Because it needs these things. Mm. So, so what by then do... it'll be a new body, and we'll have to fight it all over again. What we could do to lure it back faster is burn these things very slowly, one by one. Presuming that they have residual energy, which we know for a fact they do, it may well already be linked to it, and it may be like, oh shit, these are disappearing, slowly, one by one, say one every hour, or one every half hour, and it's forced to come back, or lose all of them. And this time we'll have the advantage, we'll be able to set up a trap or something. Maybe Louise can get into that tree after he fixes his bow. Can I, can I fix my bow? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just restring it. Oh, okay, I'll restring my yeah, bow. Yeah, of course you carry a spare string. <laughs> Obviously. It's made out of cat intestines. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck uh, Lenore. <laughs> we can just oh, that reminds me. Uh, I would have gone to pick up my crossbow. Uh, mm. Of course. Good. Yeah, we could uh, set up a trap with maybe Louise up in a tree. I could throw down a yurt in wherever we lead it. Well, it needs to come in here. <clears throat> right? So, um, we lure it in here onto a yurden. If we can find it outside with better sidelines, that would be preferable. I think they were saying lure it into its own lair. So it's in a nice little hole that you guys could pop out and go, boom. Yeah. And you can open with a fireball if that makes you, if it makes you happy. <laughs> yeah, I just turn to Louis like, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Like, I hold up a firebolt. All right, really, playing. really subtle way to tell him. Good job. Well, I think the fire yesterday and all the healing would have done all that. Yeah, there was uh, a little bit more. I, I've never, I've never met a, ne never met a witcher or a mage. Um, I'm not sure which, which one I, I think is cooler, really. <laughs> Still trying to figure it out. Really? You're still trying to figure it out? <laughs> oh, oh damn. As, you... as Dunce holds up his number two pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Look, imagine it's way bigger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I have to imagine. <laughs> You're not. Well, uh, when you think about it, it, it's probably me, really. You know, because he's a witcher, uh, he's a mage, I'm just a bog standard human. Yeah, here I am. Yeah. Toe to toe. <laughs> yeah. You can really hold your own against us, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, am I, am I intruding? It's just, just a uh... really good fun. I clap him on the back really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just wait. If we weren't in a dangerous situation like this, I'd uh, I'd wrestle you down. 
you know, we'd oil up and everything. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> uh, um. uh, yeah, right. So, <laughs> Yerdon down here. Uh, perhaps, how big is this there? Uh, not very. It was the entire basement of the, but not any more. It's, it's collapsed considerably. You think, like, the foglet could fit inside here, large size could fit inside here semi-cramped uh, for the height and with enough space that maybe one other could stand it within it with it. You know what I mean? Right. I imagine that it would make sense for Bastion to be down there with the Uridan and, and try to keep yeah, it busy. I, I should be able to pu pour firebolts into the other corner and hopefully not hit him. So Bastion's down here with the Uridan holding the items. Um, once it comes in I will spring up behind it to stop it from escaping easily once Bran has unloaded these fireballs of his uh, Luis uh, perhaps you could, could watch from a tree oh, listen guys I don't I don't want to sound um, like you know I'm stepping on anyone's toes here but uh, it's, it's just a wisp might not be when it comes it back. It might already have re-inhabited a body. Foglets do that a lot. I see. Very well. So get climbing. <laughs> get busy climbing. Get busy but climbing. you guys can see how good of he is with his bow from a distance. It's literally one of those, see the tree over there? That one there? No, the one after it. Yeah? Go there. So it's like a legit like 300 foot away tree. He can, I can climb up. Yet. Yeah. Feet away. But mind you, you can't use your your what's it called? Uh, hunter's mark. Why not? Because that's within ninety like feet. To ninety feet. Ah, yeah. fuck. They, they can right. be any range from harming them. They, be, they have to be within that's ninety right. feet when attacked. If, we do, when, when it, if it, we do it fast enough, I can just zephyr strike three times. <laughs> could 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 he not hide as this thing goes past him? Hunter mark it quietly, mm -hmm. and then, then just bugger you, off. You just hope that it doesn't perceive him. Yeah, but it would only because obviously Hunter's Mark doesn't leave an effect on it. Like it, it wouldn't notice that. It would only him notice as he walks him. by within ninety feet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the plan is then let's just get uh, hammer this down pretty quickly. You are gonna hide somewhere within say fifty feet of the door, uh, Luis. That way, when it gets to the doorway, you throw up a Hunter's Mark and can start shooting and backing up just to stay the uh, flip out of flop, just stay to safety. Bastion is literally going to hide inside the hole itself, like inside its lair. So when it walks in, there's a yurting it walks into, and you just spring out and start attacking it. Uh, 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 somewhere else hiding relatively nearby, you're going to have Tal and um, uh, Bran together. One of them is going to spring out and rush forward to attack, kind of tra trapping it like from behind from the doorway. Uh, attacking there and the other one right before Tal gets to that range of being dangerous is going to drop a fireball outside of the uh, of the building so it blasts uh, this is the foundation you know it's like a hill or whatever right there. so um, uh, so it blasts the thing uh, from behind without hitting Bastion Tal runs in and then you guys just start like wailing on this creature as much as you can mm -hmm. that's the plan sounds like a great plan you have to spend the better part of today uh, digging out a bigger hole to make sure that it's feasible and probably piss it off more. And then have to uh, prepare yourself for the night. I need from you guys uh, a survival check and some stealth checks. Uh, so I, I was going to say for the stealth checks, um, Tal has done stealth attacks on Draconids before. And one of the key components is sense of smell. Um, so he would suggest that they should slather their bodies uh, if Bram whines, he'll do it for him. Uh, in I mean, I'm probably going to fail in, myself in anyway, like, so I might as well sit out in the open yeah, and like burn his mud. things. And then they can also, because there's so much rubble about, we can like somewhat pile ourselves in like a snowman. I don't think I necessarily need to be super. Sneaky. Not you, not you, us. Because yeah. obviously, if it if it spots us prior to, so we need to be fully. I so wanted to know that I'm in there, so it comes. Yeah, exactly, there. exactly. So you don't need to do any of that, but I think uh, if Bran and and Tal both had that happen, and probably. Me... Sorry. No, you're fine. Roll me your checks. 
One so survival and uh, one stealth each. Do I Except need for Bastion. Yeah. Bastion, you can roll survival if you if you have the highest of it, but I honestly don't think you do. I don't think I do. I have two. Oh, so right? I said each. Uh, the stealth was for each of you. The survival was one of you. Totally. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that go. one can okay. have advantage when doing it. Uh, who's better oh. for survival? I have, a, I have a plus six. Yeah, I have a plus okay. six as well. So, it's, yeah. so anyone but Bran. Um, you do it. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, do it right now. Oh With, advantage. With advantage. With uh, advantage. you. Okay, cut. just take that. So you uh, you did really well. Uh, stealth checks, everybody. No, ten. And brands. Yep. It's about as good as it's gonna get, boys. <sighs> good and. Boys, Bastion, stealth check. Oh, you don't really have to roll. You just wait inside the hole, anyways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. If I roll a five or higher, it appears tonight. <gasps> oh ho ho! And it does. I was uh, gonna say, ah, oh, I waste a turn. <laughs> Um, was there any more preparations that were done, like casting of invisibility or anything like that, or no? I mean, I'm Just... burning it shit. Okay. So I would cast invisibility, yeah. Okay. I imagine I would... Yurden's probably already down. Yeah, well, you would have, it only lasts for a minute, you would have gotten it down as you heard the thing approaching. Yeah. It's just, ugh, you know. So, uh, and also, would you have crafted more potions in the interim? Uh, I would have, well, I already have a Thunderbolt on me, so I would have grabbed the healing one. So another white rapids, and you're going to drink those two? Well, you're going to drink at least the Thunderbolt, and once again, you hear the thing approaching. Oh, have... in that case, I'm going to drink the Thunderbolt, make another Thunderbolt, uh, and make my white rapids. Make sure you reduce your uh, your XP's by that 101. Yeah. Okay, and um, then you get, so you, you, you quaff that as soon as you hear the thing, like, doof. Getting closer because you have super keen ears. Whoa. And then once it's at like, the top of the hill, you you know, and it yeah. starts making its way down. And then it, as it's walking by everybody, it likes walking and it's making its way through, looking about. It sees that uh, the hole is ripped open. And you actually hear it speaking in common. This is a big, large thing. You hear it speaking in common. Be like, they've entered. And then uh, makes its way over to the rim and stops and starts like peering around the rim. And then it immediately whips around and looks over in the direction of where Bran and uh, and Tal are, are hidden. And then crouch down, staying low. And it's one of those things where it totally, like Bran gets this like moment where he swears the thing is looking directly at him. And Bran like yeah, starts like draw a breath. I cast invisibility afterwards, so. And Bran like, starts like draw a breath, getting ready to cast a spell, but like, Tal looks super, super calm and patient. So he's like, okay, I don't think it knows I'm here. You know what I mean? Tal seems patient. Tal seems relaxed. Um, you know, Bastion, I imagine, is, you know, hands gripped on his sword, like very, very tightly waiting for the moment. And then there's already an arrow knocked and the, the bow maybe like a quarter drawn, waiting for the, the first shot. It makes its way down into the hole. And as soon as it kind of like loops its head through, and it like starts like sniffing the air, like, <sighs> and then it steps in. It's like they've touched, and then its head snaps like much farther than I, I head can naturally turn. Snaps to the side and locks eyes with Bastion, who immediately springs to action. <laughs> Bastion, you get to act first. This thing is surprised. Yeah. We're gonna roll initiative really quickly. You get to act first. It is surprised this round, Whoa. which means it doesn't get a turn this round. Damn it. What? Everybody, roll Five. your initiative. It's so it's surprise this round, but what was that? Uh, which means he doesn't get to act first. As okay, well. cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, what did I roll first? Oh, oh I yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> God damn. It's because you have an advantage, don't you, as a ranger? I think I do, but it doesn't look like it rolled it. Uh, yeah, if, yeah, if, you, did, if you hover over, it does. So you get two actions on your turn. When it's your turn, you're obviously holding for for Bastion uh, first, of course. So yeah. Um, yes, of course. So well, actually, no. You would have heard Bastion spring to action. You would be like, no, sort of a thing. Like, and so actually, I'll let you go in order. So you actually, you get to go first. Oh, did apologies. he have Yurden up or not? Yes, Yurden, Yurden was up. up. Okay. So, so in the idea too was that you were near enough by that you would have cast um, your hunter's mark on it. Um, 
as it walked by. So your hunter's mark is currently on it. You still have your bonus, your move, and your standard right, action. So let me just use the spell so I don't have the slot for it. Please and thank you. There. I assume you recharge those after the end of the long rest? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, Alright, so... Perfect. Now... You could technically Zephyr Strike right now, too, if you cared to. I don't care to. Go for yeah, the yeah, Alpha. Yeah. Next uh, round. Go for the ice boo. Is this a sneak? Uh, it, yeah, yeah. You have an advantage on any okay. creature that hasn't acted. You have everything. Okay. I have everything. All right, I know my first round is the hardest one for me to keep track of, so hold on. Um, Even twice because you're fucking daddy yeah. twenty again. Yeah. Um, okay, so Dread Ambusher would activate. So first <laughs> attack is your non-Dread Ambusher attack. So it's right. first you make an attack with advantage. All right, so I guess I'll do uh, with advantage. Oh, okay, God, that, gonna, like, tear me I'm up. definitely gonna do. I'm definitely gonna do a sharpshooter. Okay. Oh, oh no! God. How heartbreaking, it, dude. That's a thirteen. You have four Witcher senses, and you know that you want to end this quickly. Yep. Remember, I said that. Okay, um, I'm rolling a Witcher sense. Fucking go for it. Yeah, definitely. The well, we already know fifteen hits. Fourteen still. Oh yeah. We still don't know. 14 plus sneak plus attack. The sneak yep. and hunter's mark. And hunter's mark. Woo! Nice. 24 wow. points of damage. 24 okay. Four damage. Now attack again with advantage. With advantage. I'll do another one. I'll do another sharpshooter. Let's, let's go for it. Hey. A 22. Hey. Oh my god. Okay, you hit. Any <laughs> damage. And this has. Uh, not sneak attack, but hunter's not mark this time. Attack. Not sneak, attack, not sneak attack. Yes, Hunter's Mark. Hunter and Dread. And Dread. Um, 25. Okay, so 25 total. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, because you rolled at 90 20 in my house rule, you get a third attack. This is a non Dread. Oh, <laughs> yep. Uh, do I still get the advantage? Yeah. I don't think so. Yes, you do. do. Yeah, 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 All yeah, attacks in the first active, round yeah. of combat. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Then I'll do another Star Shooter. Man, sharpshooter multi attack is so strong. Oh, fuck. Oh, you, so I, I don't know if I like. I already did forty nine. It's up to the party if they want you to, uh, if they want you to spend it or not. You have one more attack either way. D. Yeah, because yeah, dread, dread, hell. dread ambusher like allows you, and when you make the attack action to make an attack roll in the first round of combat, you make an additional attack. Because he rolled a natty twenty with my house rolls, you have an additional attack action. So he gets to make that twice. You have an additional action, which he's spending to attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to veto the be like, use of which sense yeah, so that maybe I, I, one of us gets a turn. Okay. I'm okay. just going to do it. Another one. Let's go another okay. one. This one has dread. Okay, that's a Bring hit. That one. This was a sharpshooter, though. This is awesome. You're yep. rolling so little damage on sharpshooter, but still crushing it. I know. That's so sad. And then... Uh, you do 22 in just a sharpshooter. So then I have Hunter's Mark and Dread Ambush. Or 21, sorry. So 18. Okay, 18 more. 49 plus 18 it's insane is... damage. For turn, like for round one, that's just insane. 67. It's, it's its turn, but it's surprised, so it can't do anything. <laughs> but that does mean it has had a turn this round, which means that things like your uh, a sneak attack wouldn't be able to quite trigger quite the same. Right. I wish I had extra attack. I would have got two extra shots in there. I meant, sorry, your range, some of your ranger abilities wouldn't have triggered, but they did because I rolled an insanely high... whatever. So, Bran, it's actually your turn throwing the fireball in the hole, but you were planning it in such a way that it would not hit Bastion. Yep. You had already plotted this out. 34 fucking damage. Ah! <laughs> I think we just two-shot it. <laughs> oh, God! Okay. Yeah, I got three sixes in there. This fight was a lot easier. <laughs> Unless yeah. you're taking half damage from those first attacks. What's I a can't DC? See it What's a DC? 14. 14. Okay, I actually make the save. Uh, you wouldn't uh, have killed it yet anyways, but I make the save, so I take half of 34, so that's 16, right? Still, that's... 17. Sorry, 17. That's still a crap ton. No, 18? 17. 17, my apologies. Jesus. Okay, I, I, it wouldn't have killed it either way, but oh my god, okay, it's still a crap ton more damage. Bastion! So I'm actually going to be using my longsword for this, that way I can have my shield in case it does get an attack back at me. Sure, fair. Uh, 
Plus, it's gonna it's not gonna be at disadvantage or any, whatever. It is less damage because of the year. One of the things that you can do with your shield because it doesn't have anywhere to go is you can use your shield athletics check to knock it prone. Oh, oh. I actually will be doing that, assuming everything goes as planned here. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Hold on, uh, you, you missed understanding. If it's prone, you have advantage on your attack rolls. Oh wait, do I not? Well, I have to use it as a bonus action after my attack anyway. Does it say after your attack, or just as a part of the attack action? Uh, if you take the attack action on your turn, you can use a bonus action to try and shove a creature within five feet of you. So it doesn't. Specify. Yeah, you can bash something first and then chop it. Yep. Oh, Absolutely. I can. Yeah, why not? Oh, this All is right. your attack action. In that case, I would have done that. Unless you guys make your athletic, nope, make your athletics check. Okay. Uh, wow. Well. Okay, well, I'm gonna try <laughs> to counter that, but I think uh, I think I'm not gonna be able to beat that one. Where's my modifier? It's pretty big too. Uh, is your strength is still increased, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I just re-increased it. Okay, cool. You win. You knock me on my ass. Now make your attack roll with advantage. All right. Do it, boy. My Mahakam Longsword. Yeah, it's a hit. Roll your damage. All right. Ow. <laughs> That's ten, ten more damage to it because of Yurden. Love it. Yay. Uh, and I assume he's not dead? No, you have another attack. And I got my other attack. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you hit. All right. Hmm. You uh, you messed this thing up. Now you I'm half a fireball to it. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm afraid <coughs> Tal Cousin Height is going That's to you. be consistent and steal the kill like he always does. <laughs> I'm I'm the normal human one here, but uh, <laughs> but by uh, uh, we're gonna say um, coincidence. I always <laughs> seem to get the kill. Um, Why does he sound like a mafia guy? Like <laughs> Al Capone. He always I'm gonna make him an offer he can't role. refuse. Tal will break cover, close the distance. That boy's prone. He will drive the spear in. Yep. Did you get what, four attacks? Yeah. I hope he missed them all. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, you um, made a mistake not giving him an action score. Uh. Uh. Swung. Uh. Oh, what this abysmal boy. damage. I'm Do, I get just one? Do I get one I turn? Get... I just want one turn to claw somebody. Just... And a no. death strike that. You don't get the claw. Whoa, no yeah. claw. Claw bad. Oh my god, what terrible damage rolls. 10, 15, okay. Uh, and again. Miss, 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 like a little bitch. Miss, 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 fuck me. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Okay. And. <laughs> You're not going to give me a chance to attack? No, Welcome to the no, pain no, train, no, motherfucker. No, no, no. <laughs> now you know how we feel. And then <laughs> me and Hal are just beating up on this thing right now. It's just like... <laughs> this is what witchers are, are good at. All right, I'm going to stomp on its skull now. This is how witchers fight. They know what they're fighting. They know where it's going to be. They drop a trap. Never fight oh, on equal terms with it. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a great point of like reinforcing that point. Like, you need you need to ambush fuckers. Yeah. Oh. And one more. Yep. <laughs> um, let's just say. Yeah. Okay. So you, you killed it with the attack prior. So you're just punching <laughs> meat now. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, he's curb stumping. He's like, pfft, pfft. well, it's Luis's turn. Luis, you saw it getting like knocked down. You're like, oh shit, I can't see his fat ass is jiggling in my way. <laughs> As he's like, Don't you know, sword, him, sword uh, attacks coming down. There's explosion of fire, sword attacks coming down. You see he comes up, he spears the thing. He's like, come on, poof, draw, poof, poof, poof. poof. <laughs> That's right! Stay down! Stay down! <laughs> Is it dead? Uh, and it stops moving. Luis, do you do anything on your turn? Um, I get disgusted at how brutal Tal is. <laughs> and how much he doesn't like to share last again. kills. Fair enough, right? <laughs> he doesn't, ever. Bran, it's your turn. I imagine you 
fully like move better into view or whatever it is at the top of like the little oh so yeah we're, we're still in combat yeah even though we've killed it therefore we, we need to see invisibility <laughs> it's yeah not... i would have had to take magic up by default mm -hmm, that's fine we have to wait for the wisp or whatever. um you can't have to take magic up if you write invisibility up so you cast to take magic now but his invisibility would have dropped. Oh, yeah, right, right. I get what you mean, because they're concentration. Yeah, they're both concentration. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'll, I'll spend my action on detect magic. Sure, 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 sure. And currently, you do not detect the presence of, of magic beyond what you normally would find amongst them, so on and so forth. Bastion, you're standing there over with your sword. Are you also thwacking at it, or are you just anything with your turn? Uh, Cut off the I'm head. getting prepared, because I don't know exactly how the wisp is going to reveal itself. So I'm basically As... kind of stepping back, getting ready for that. Okay. Maybe preparing an action for as soon as I see a wisp or hear a wisp. Tell. Has that light in its chest gone out? Um, not exactly yet. Uh, Tal's gonna like bloody meaty hand reach in for that light and try to tear it out of the body. If he can, if not, he's just like trying to tear chunks out. Okay. Why don't you make your uh, uh, a unarmed strike with your turn? I mean, is it? I mean, it can't defend itself, so is it with advantage? I mean, no. It's, it's, it's an anima and prone. Not, not, not with advantage, no. <laughs> Whew, that was close. So you reach in, roll me damage. You pull out its still beating heart and eat it. You actually okay. reach in and you do grab the wisp and you like rip it out. And, uh, and the, the thing, as soon as the wisp comes out of its body, um, it was going to do this on its turn anyways to try to flee, right? So as soon as the wisp comes out of its body, the whole body starts to discorporate into fog. Just completely mm -hmm. eeps away into fog. Hey, does and, that trigger my prepared? And the wisp is there, yeah. You see the wisp. You're oh. in hold of it. Yeah, swing. Make does it count roll. as grapple Wait, for the purposes of this? Was it grappled? Uh, technically, I guess, sure. Hey, there you go, buddy. We did. Scott's Scott's just lost a resistance at this point. I'll just finish it. Hurry up. <laughs> did you roll Natty one so we could chop off his hand? Thank God, no. Oh, I did think that. I was like, Jesus, he's holding it. You can use use a precision strike. Oh, wait, that's not even a hit, is it? Yeah, use a precision strike. Oh, yeah, um, I can use my precision strike or whatever. Where's action? Where's condition grappled? So they uh, lower their AC if they're grappled. Grappled. You're grappled. Your speed becomes zero, and you can't benefit from any bonus to your speed. The condition ends if your grappler is incapacitated. The condition also ends if you are removed from the reach of your grappler. But, I mean, he is a wisp, so he can yeah, just but go. He doesn't get an attack. He doesn't get advanced. advanced oh yeah, I wasn't ball. supposed to roll advantage. My bad. Yeah. I mean, you rolled the same thing twice. I think we can let it slide. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, re I'll re roll. Maybe I'll roll better. Yeah. <laughs> it's over for Natty One. I wanted to sever off his hand. Um, that would have been so brutal. Roll your damage. That would have dropped. And that gets better too. Are you kidding me? And even though it's a it's a Mahakan longsword instead of your silvered blade because he's still inside the um the Yurden. The Yurden. <laughs> oh god. Oh no! And he took six damage. Six plus fourteen equals twenty-two. Wisps have twenty-two health. God damn it. <laughs> you bring the sword down and you I like... hate to I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he's got two health left. Why? It's six and four. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you yeah. swing yeah. and you hit the thing. And that actually But Dunce has another attack action. No 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 no. But he's... That that cause... He, he prepared his oh. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, prepared his turn. Yeah, he prepared an attack, so you doesn't get he get a second two turn? attacks? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're not wrong. You're welcome, Dunce. Go get him, boy. <laughs> God damn it! I was over a minute. Oh my god! Twenty-eight. Roll your damage. GG boys. You didn't get you to steal my kill. <laughs> <laughs> your kill. <laughs> my yeah. kill. So you swing down. I have uh, too much light coming. I have to close that blind. So you have two. You, you, your sword swings in and, and hits the thing, which is currently being held in his hand, <laughs> and it stabs into like the ectoplasm that holds the the will of the wisp together, right? And as it's like in there, you like rip it away. And then it's like stuck almost like a, a ball of glob or glue or something to the end of your longsword. And you just start taking the longsword and bash it against the stone wall. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I stop him when he tries to do that. I was like, put it in a flask. We need it. Fair enough. 
Wait, <laughs> wait the living will will o wisp? Well, I, I don't know. Once oh, it's I dead, we we'll put its goop in a flask. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're putting the goop goop in there. So after he kills it, it bashes against the wall and like finishes like breaking the thing, like killing it. You have like both Wait, watch sides someone abuse a tide pod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's on the same scale. <laughs> no, really not really. I gotta go close that blinds. Give me one second, guys. Want to do your victory dance? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> that was pretty brutal, actually. That was fucking horrifying. He's like, yeah, what? It's, like, <laughs> it's gone. You guys took an actual proper Witcher contract, planned out the attack and everything, and just devastated, just absolutely annihilated the thing. You're going to reward us, right? Heavily. I think bat pats are in order. Let's go to town, boys. <clears throat> Six fucking grand's waiting for us. Well, you make your way back to... Do, do you do anything else here? Um, I piss on where the corpse is. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's burn the lair, in including those little figurines. Uh, if Bastion refuses to let go, we'll have to burn him too. You know, it's a, sh it's a shame, but <laughs> we'll me. just have to take his share of the reward. I no, I own this house now. <laughs> <laughs> By which a law of surprise, I call dibs. <laughs> no, I'm cool with burning it down. Cool. So you guys uh, uh, kill the thing, uh, you burn the house down, you grab the goop, and you head back to go speak to the um, uh, to the uh, the burgermeister. Burgermeister. Of the uh, of of I hate this guy. <laughs> when you get your audience with him, because it's pretty easy to travel your way back there and, and get your audience with him. It's actually not that easy. Hold on. Only a survival check. Advantage, because of all of you. Oh, alright. Tell, roll the survival check. No, no, no. I did the last one. You uh, have to do this one. But when I fail it... Prove your worth, peasant boy. There's 22. There we go. Dead. You guys Lower. easily avoid the drowned dead and drowners making your way back there and, and the blood zookers and all that stuff, so... Blood zookers. <laughs> 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 I just realized what you meant. I never, I never got that. That's funny. I never put two two together. So, anyways, um, so you make your way back to speak with him. You get audience with the guy, and um, and you, so you, you walk into the chamber, and we'll, we'll of course role play. You walk into the chamber to present your your victory. Oh, does this like, chamber possess any secrets? He has a big basilisk snake. My God. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> so, so uh, the you, you you're in the chamber, and he's like, I'm "Back already?" Yes, my lord. We have found and we've killed the beast. Yes, my lord. Twice, actually. Low. Twice. <laughs> we were able to dispatch it at first. Then we were able to learn of the way that the creature returned. And our dear Master Witcher here has been able to practice his craft with most excellence, setting up an ambush and dispatching of it with great ease. Uh, hey, Bergy. <laughs> I just... Whoa! <laughs> cut, cut, cut it out. Wait. So, you defeated it, realized that you hadn't completed the task because of whatever details and you believe you've actually finished the task entirely yes no we had to slay okay. it a second time to do that what what happens when you hire professionals you know it's just we make sure we get the job done <laughs> Sorry, oh, the non-witchers are being cocky for the witcher contract <laughs> which is like yeah i know I'm... i just the money i'm good i'm free <laughs> um he, he thinks he's like well as we had said before, agreed upon. You say you've completed the task and you've even gone so far as to say that you've stepped over and truly completed the task beyond just annoying this thing further. Then in one week's time, you will receive your reward as we had previously discussed. And a week after that, you will receive the rest of your reward if <laughs> things actually did play out well. So... <laughs> when? When, uh... 
Lowe's Lo, Lo's like sitting there thinking. And Fuck, he's gonna want to cut. <laughs> and he goes, "Wait, ho hold on a second. I just, I just did free work and accidentally put myself out of a job." <laughs> <laughs> well, you see what um, he says. Did you have equal part in this boy? More than equal. God damn. <laughs> Well, then you It'll should probably you. discuss with those that you're working with because they are earning 7,000 on this. 7,000? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you'll get your cut. Uh, <laughs> you earned it. Wait, sorry, Bergy, if you don't mind. Uh, can I call yeah, you Bergy? We're going to have this Listen. conversation at a no. different time behind closed doors. Six, six, six thousand? Seven In a thousand? week. In a week. Where, where'd you get that kind of gold? The Burgermeister. <laughs> where'd he get that kind of gold? Well, he's the Burgermeister. He's the one that runs you! Vizima. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the one that runs Vizima, so he has that money. If you're trying to think oh, in equations oh, oh. of how the video game works, where you get like 300 versus... That's because we're using D&D &D currency, so you just have to... You know, these aren't up. orange. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you, I see. You, I'm not going to rewrite the, the cost of arrows and horses and... And so it's, it's the taxpayer's money. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah that's that's how taxes work, Nimnuts, so that we yeah. can kill monsters and then they don't die because they're paying the taxes. <laughs> they don't die? Oh, I thought well, the monsters yeah. don't die is what you're saying. <laughs> you see, no, would no, you no. rather pay this a is... couple of orans or would you pay for the li with the life of one of your kin? This no, is the good. basics of a socialistic society. You pay taxes and you get services done for you. If you'd rather not pay taxes, then you don't have services done for you. No, I didn't say it. No. <laughs> so that's, why you, you, that's why you pay taxes, to have a fire department and a police department in schools. Socialism. Low yeah, starts an anarchist communist here. revolution. Lowe's from the swamp. So uh, we'll, we'll see you in a week, yeah? I'm sure you'll try. That kind of so, sounds uh, like you're planning to have us off, mate. Oh. It, it... oh, no. No, no, no. I'd rather you about. Perhaps you can solve a couple more of the problems. Very well. We'll come back in a week's time. You say a couple more problems? He, he yeah. Wants... Come along, though. Sound, sounds good. Uh, mind if we take this boy as our guide? He doesn't own me. <laughs> <laughs> He means, really? nothing. he means nothing to me. <laughs> really, because I got the impression when I had a look at all those buildings down by the uh, the swamp, uh, lake, sorry, uh, that you were all slaves, you know, with, oh, with houses uh, like... So no, I'm, sometimes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We will be taking our leave now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going. Uh, everyone's like, get, get down the fuck, go! <laughs> we haven't received the money yet. Stop being flippant. Uh, will you hold the coin, then you can be mean. Yeah, exactly. Day, uh, me lord? He just yeah. nods. <clears throat> so oh, then, low. That's a good are. place to get a drink. Well, bye, low. <laughs> no, just. <laughs> <laughs> Where's a good place to get a drink? Well, you uh, you better go there then. <laughs> on, on, on your own. <laughs> I triple cast invisibility. Bye. Let me show you my wine bottle opener, low. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Jeez. So, Lo, how does it feel to have completed a Witcher contract? This is after we've already left the building. Oh, I wasn't even scared for a second. No, those were tears of joy <laughs> upon tears? seeing my arrival. Uh, I, I don't recall any tears. <clears throat> no, I'm fairly certain I saw so the you guys want to get a drink, yeah? I'm pretty sure there were some waterfalls across your face when you were meeting up with me there. I don't think so. I'm not crying. I was just cutting onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it was that. Maybe it was that fireball. Yeah, you know, made your eyes run from the heat. We should begin our. Uh, we should begin thinking about how we should help old Vizima as well. Or Bastion, and uh, just a thought. We could go have a nice hot meal and a drink. I'm saying we d we figure this out over a nice hot meal and a drink. What what if we just get really and pissed? Some fine ladies, of course. 
I, I turned a low for a minute. Fine like, lady? You wouldn't happen to know any fancy rumors about magical places in the area, would you? Well, they're not fancy. Well, but I have heard some least. rumors. <laughs> I would love to know anything you know. Of course. And so they make their way over to the nearest tavern as they, you know, throw back a, a few mugs and uh, engage in, in uh, stories, conversation, tales, uh, perhaps a little bit of... Uh, <sighs> We're going to get 6,000 gold. Tal wants roast carousing, pork. <laughs> trying to decide if they want to st spend more time in Bazima, um, uh, helping out the locals with the various problems they have and hopes of earning coin or... Well, in the back of the minds of at least two of them is the others Four. that they're... At least two of them. Uh, the others that they were supposed to help. The others that they're currently sidetracked off of uh, lending the aid for. They know that... Well, they know that there's only so much time between, before the witch hunters get to that, um, that boy. So there's so much time before they can uh, have an impact on, on how that all is resolved. Or if, oh um, yeah, I to totally care time. about that boy. Sure. At least two of them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so they, they drink their drinks and they have their fun and they have their conversations. Um, but in the morning, they're probably going to have to have a more serious discussion of how it is they choose to spend their time. With that, why don't we end the session? Because <gasps> Neil is going live in one hour on twitch.tv slash uh, douchebag McGee. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, for a session of uh, I Can't Pronounce It, where the team of people who mostly aren't that cool, but Doxy's there. Wow. Uh, would you like to um, uh, Would you like to tell us about that? Yeah, so in an hour, uh, we are going live over on twitch.tv forward slash Ollie Rant, which I've just put in the chat for a session of Yavis Gear, A Mother's Love, episode nine, which features the return of Gilwyn, uh, Vale, uh, and a couple of newer characters, uh, Ocean in the Night, <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a tabaxi, and Indira the Storm, who is played by Doxy, as you say. So join me, Ollie Rant, Dean Cuddy, Arvine, and Zero Doxy oh, in an hour. Oh, Dean's there. Never mind. Oh, Never mind. Dean's there too. I like Dean. Dean's the best. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely better than than some <clears throat> Neil. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Rick, who are you? How can we find you? Hi, my name's Rick. I go Hello. by Mighty Rick or Dub Digital, depending on the place where you can catch me. I am head moderating usually, but when I'm not, I also have my own YouTube channel and Twitch channel. I've been streaming for like the past two Saturdays, but that's probably going to be over because I just happened to be invited along for something. You know, it was fun. It was fun. I'm just getting back into it a little. So what were you playing? at some point, once I'm done moving, I'll be back streaming and uh, recording. Seven days to die? Yep. Seven days to die. It's pretty fun. Bit. With a bunch of people from like Roll For It. That's cool. Um, yeah. so, and that's, uh, Messy. Who are you? How can we find you? Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Messy Cat. Um, at the moment, still working on some stuff. Ooh, Dale, I gotta talk to you after. Oh, okay. We had a, we had a meeting oh. yesterday, last night. Uh-oh, meetings. Meetings. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, anyway. Um, so I got some, got some projects I'm working on. I'm excited. Are you guys? Do you guys celebrate like Thanksgiving in Europe? Like probably not, right? It's like no, America. we don't. But I have. Well, you mean Turkey Dinner Day? Yeah, Turkey Dinner Day. I had a Thanksgiving no. dinner and it was so tasty. We had pumpkin pie for dessert. Oh god, it's, it's so good. It's, it's pretty lit, dude. Oh, anyway, yeah. I'm, really, I'm really excited for that. And then of course Christmas coming up. Those holidays coming up. I'm trying to get a bunch of work done before then. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just had something on my screen and I like reached out to wipe it and realized I was just like caressing Messi's face. <laughs> like it was right on it. I was just like, oh. oh my, you could just ask. Donkey Dunk. Hey, so he's writing. can't up. say that. That's someone else. Don't misbrand him. Donkey Dunk. Slash dunk space. And since finally I fixed my editing software, maybe I'll upload it again one day on youtube.com slash dunk space. You know, that's funny. I actually did do the wrong thing. I did a chat. I did dunce as opposed to dunce space because I, <laughs> I, I was just wow. joking. But 
Who's this dumb guy? Hold on, he's been playing Lethal League plays with my. <laughs> 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 I know, it sounds pretty cool. Should we ask him can, on can, here? Can you give us another couple thumbs up and say professional stream? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't need to. Everyone knows. Um, and I'm Dale Rick. You can find me here uh, on Twitch TV and YouTube and everywhere else slash Dale Rick. Or I am also half of Lost Initiative. So if you look up Lost Initiative show or Lost Initiative, you can find me there. Um, and all of those wonderful and awesome things. Um, yeah. We killed a foglet. That was fun. Had we? A good time. We. We absolutely massacred it. I'm we, sorry. We, we Dale Rick? We, we. Um, not you. Us. To be fair, to be fair, though, <laughs> Scott was pretty nice with his rulings there. What? Where? Where was it nice? Uh, last. The week. entire session. I, I said, was... I said, buildings fall, Talavas dies. You almost did die. Like, you, you, you're. <laughs> Don't forget he that. Was, he was well shielded. You kept bullying me with wish. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll leave it to RNG, health. but I'll totally attack Bran all the time. Bran had three health. <laughs> Every Eight. round after the first round, a new will o wisp popped up. Look, like, what are I, you talking look, about? Look, there was I'm a cloud say, of death that rained in on you in round one. All I'm going to say, Scott, is easy. You, GG. Oh. GG. GG, easy. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's go meet uh, the Squintel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Humi. Let's make this happen. Oh no! <laughs> I will are they gonna, see. Are they gonna call racial slurs, Humi? Are they gonna call him that? Oh, I got. Yeah, I got, I got phrases. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> I will see you. Bring it all. on, knife ears. <sighs> Next week <laughs> or tonight on Lost Initiative.